Hello and welcome to a quick video explaining how to use the dividend section on Index Edge. And in this video, what I'll do is I'll try and use a few examples. And we're going to be having a look at players from this season in particular. And we will go for players under the age of 23 who have earned a few dividends this season across the different positions. So we'll start off by filtering the date range here. And you can choose any player, but we're just going to leave that for now. And you can also choose which type of dividend. So if you wanted to see best player dividends, different positions, uh, match the extra, team of the month or media, you could just filter by one of these uh, dividend types there. And you could choose how many dividends. So we'll just have a look at players who have earned at least 5p this season. We'll go for, and we'll go for players under two pounds. And we will also go for players under 23 years of age. And we'll start off by having a look at a few goalkeepers and then we'll move on to defenders, midfielders and forwards. So we only really have two goalkeepers here. Uh, Meslier, who's been in really great form at Leeds United, picked up a dividend win last night. You can have a look at all the dividend winners in this uh, table here and you can just scroll down, see the dividend yields per each dividend win as well, which is quite interesting because you'll see some players have returned a huge amount of the price like Elvis Rex for Beck Beckage, 33.3% uh, in one game. Uh, Varane, actually, with a 40, I think that's a 43.8% return in one match uh, with the best player and top defender. So, yeah, you can scroll down, see all of these dividend returns, dividend yields in particular, actually, which I think are pretty interesting. Uh, but, yeah, we have just Meslio and Donnarumma for the top keepers. And then we'll have a look at defenders. I think Christian Romero will come top. Yeah, so he's... He's returned 22p, Edmund types of bar as well, 22p. And you look at Romero, I mean, a 36.7% yield. He's on loan from Juventus, could be a decent pick there. You can also scroll down and see the buy price versus dividends graph. And this can be quite interesting. You'll see that Romero is the player that stands out above the trend line. And the other thing that you can do here is just change the chart type. And you can maybe just see it in a different format, which can be quite useful. We'll go for this one here. You can see the players a little bit more clearly if you do change the chart type sometimes uh, but it's kind of personal preference I suppose and then what we'll do as well is we'll scroll down even further and we can have a look at the yield versus age and that's pretty cool because you can see again like Romero will stand out there with the best yield of these players versus their age as well so you might want to have a look at some of these younger players I mean you could definitely make a case for William Saliba with a 20% return or so um, in fact 17.74% dividend yield because he's only 19, you could definitely make an argument for him being the most viable player. But it just depends how you interpret this data, I suppose. Next, we'll have a look at some midfielders. So we'll see who stands out under the age of 23 again for this season. Um, you can actually sort this total dividends table as well, however you like. So if you just wanted to have a look at like match day dividends, for example, because media dividends... They're maybe not going to help you too much with picking players of value because like Havertz will come top here. Um, but Havertz... Havertz's returns have come from media and that's due to his transfer to Chelsea. That transfer is now complete. He's in the Premier League and he's not playing particularly well. So you might want to have a look at the match day dividends in a bit more detail. Uh, but yeah, we'll go back up and we'll have a look in, in the table this time. And, and you can see like Ritsu Dewin, he had that gold star man win. Eze and Sofian Diop, both, uh, Sofian Diop, both winning on gold match days as well, taking top midfielder. So that's why they've won 14p. So some pretty decent returns in this box. And you can see um, all of the data once again. The dividend winners will remain the same because this box isn't um, going to be impacted by the filters that you use. Uh, next, we'll go for some forwards. And I'll actually have a little bit more of a look into the forwards this time. So if we scroll down, yeah, Pedro Neto, Musa Barrow, both standing out in particular. Callum hudson Adoy's match day score wasn't that good. That actually won dividends this time. I think it was on like a, a bronze or a silver game where there was few teams playing. But in terms of dividend yield, it has to be Musa Barrow. He does stand out. 28p in match day dividends earned. 25.69% yield, which is pretty impressive from him. Some other players I like here actually coming up, like Musa Diabe. Big fan of his, uh, especially with Bayer Leverkusen. Bayer Leverkusen playing young boys in the Europa League soon. Uh, Leon Bailey's another one who I'm sure would come up if I put 23 in there. Um, so, yeah, that's basically how to use the dividend dashboard. The other thing that you could do is, uh, well, if you want to reset the data, first of all, just press reset there. Then you could have a look at the players with the best dividend yields on the platform. Um, so if we went for like a 40% dividend yield, which is pretty huge, 
just since the start of last season. There is going to be quite a few players coming up. And what's quite nice to see is actually some of the best players on the platform coming up here, like Messi, Neymar, De Bruyne, Ronaldo, Bruno, Tony Cruz. And with the dividends increasing even further, I think if you want a clear picture of how there is value on Football Index, just pinging in the dividend yield and seeing which players come up here, that will literally show you that there is value on Football Index. Like the players actually are worth something. Uh, there is some real intrinsic value basically to the players. Then obviously you're going to have some ridiculous results as well, like out of contract or players who move to a P- non PB league like Ikala or Ava Benega or Philip Max. They're not really going to win dividends in the future, but because this is showing you the past data, uh, they're going to come up very highly. But their circumstances have changed, of course. So that's how you use the dividend dashboard. I hope this video has been useful. Thanks for watching as always, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.